My name is Gary Lobstein, and I am the director and editor of Dirigible Days, and in my spare time, I play the villainous Salazar Strega. It, it all really started as this just little four-minute short that we shot entirely in our one-car garage uh, using, you know, green screen and just the materials we had available. Uh, once we saw how well that turned out, we we decided we would run a Kickstarter and see if we could raise money to do the entire five-episode series that James had uh, written. It's uh, it's true what they say about villains. They're a lot of fun to play, and uh, Salazar in particular, because I you know didn't have to emote, uh, I didn't have to show my face on screen, I didn't have to memorize any lines. Um, he is a Cthulhu cultist, and he is batch crazy. Uh, so we had to film the entire series a set at a time so we were kind of shooting all five episodes at once um, that's just the you know the limitations of a, a low budget yeah. we were very fortunate to have the artists and professionals contribute to this show that we did from Vernie and Process the pioneers of the steampunk music movement in California writing our theme song for the opening to uh, Victor Sierra, another fine steampunk band that uh, also composed a song for us that will be closing out the show. We also had Anthony Daniels who did our voiceover narration and I, I, we couldn't picture anyone else doing that narration. His voice just fits the show to a T. Uh, I would have to guess that each episode probably takes me between 20 to 35 hours to edit. Uh, that's that's the primary edit, all the foley work, all of the sound work, all of the effect shots. Uh, that was all <laughs> this guy right here. So um, it was uh, it was a lot of time, and hopefully time well spent.